I am looking for reviews of the PNP Center. Hello, I believe I may be able to help you with your concern. Unfortunately, there are not many customer reviews out there for the PNP Center, but those that are present are not positive. As for peer-reviewed research there is practically no current peer-reviewed research that backs up the claims made by the PNP Center which is why I feel this is not an appropriate place for assessment or treatment. If you look at their own slated research on their website, you will see most of it was completed in the 1970s with no real updates or peer-reviewed examination of their methods being used today, which shows a lack of openness to help others try to replicate the research and outcomes. This lack of openness can be evidence that their research may not be possible to be replicated in other clinics, which would bode problems for the PNP Center's claim of validity in their findings. HTTP colon slash www.lalaspv.com slash Now as for the PNP Center itself, I cannot recommend this for your son for several reasons. The testing and treatments are not all FDA approved and often contain more pseudoscience than real science. One of the common findings the testing shows is heavy metal abundance and states that this is the cause of many of the individual's mental health symptoms, when in fact other objective tests detect no heavy metal presence and also there is no scientific causation with the level of heavy metals in the body to mental illness. Then the PNP Center tries to recommend their own supplements to treat and possibly cure the patient. As I said this research and treatment is not backed by science or peer review, and many of it is not FDA approved. In addition, the use of the PNP Center surrounds an alternative form of medicine called mind-body medicine or psychoneuroimmunology, which focuses on how the mind may have an integral impact on immune and endocrine systems in the body. The issue with the PNP Center's focus on this is that it uses correlation standards as a mode of causation which is not proven science and makes general assumptions without the proper evidence. Also the PNP Center try to advocate against modern medication and treatment methods as they prefer the alternative treatment plan, which may cause more harm for you son as alternative treatment is not well regulated and not based on scientific standards. The costs of the treatment at the PNP Center can range from $5,000 to $10,000 in most cases as insurance will rarely cover it. Most general hospitals and university hospitals will provide much better treatment that is peer-reviewed and is usually covered by insurance. I am in Street. Louis, Missouri. Any recommendations on where to start? If you want your son to be examined thoroughly then I would recommend either a university hospital as these hospitals contain the most up-to-date research and the best professionals in their field. What type of symptoms does your son have to qualify as a disability? The best psychiatric hospitals in the country would be the McLean Hospital at Harvard, the Menninger Clinic associated with Baylor University, Johns Hopkins Hospital, Cleveland Clinic, or the Resnick Neuropsychiatric Hospital at UCLA. While all these hospitals are not near you directly, they are considered a part of the top 10 psychiatric hospitals in the country. There is also the Rush University Medical Center in Chicago which is not too far from you as that is a top hospital too in treating psychiatric disorders. Do you have any questions or concerns? Our son has been unable to function in life, whether that be a job, being a parent, keeping his house clean, organizing this life. He doesn't even do the things he enjoys. We took him to a psychiatrist who diagnosed antisocial personality disorder. We took him to a therapist who diagnosed AD and we took him to another psychiatrist who suggested oppositional defiance disorder. Our son does show signs of all of these but Ad does seem to be the most consistent. He also has a very rare blood disorder called neutropenia, which means his body does not produce enough neutrophils in his white blood cells to fight off infections. 
four other family members have this and all take Nupagen shots to build their neutrophil counts. Since my son refuses treatment he is physically wiped out with colds and other viruses and fatigue. He is 27 years old and is now suffering from depression, his diagnosis. We live near Washington University and Street. Louis University. He is also on Medicaid. Other than that, my husband and I support all his other needs. So we are struggling to know what to do. He is basically immobilized by not know what is wrong with him. If we could stay local that would help and I am not sure any of the places would take Medicaid. Where do you go in this country to solve this mystery? Did you get my last comments about my son's symptoms? I am not sure this went through. They went through and I will respond within 5 to 10 minutes actually. I am in the middle of writing back to you. Thank you for responding back to me. I think antisocial personality disorder, ASPD, and oppositional defiant disorder, ODD, is not quite an accurate diagnosis here. Odd is it considered a childhood disorder and thus would not apply to your son at this age. ASPD is more characterized by pervasive pattern of maladaptive behavior where he will not follow social norms, die regards be deceitful, vindictive, lack of empathy for others, rationalize his poor treatment of others, is manipulative, and can be aggressive physically. We primarily diagnose people with ASPD who are criminals, around 75% of people in prison have this diagnosis, and that is where the antisocial characterization come in because people with this diagnosis purposefully do not follow social convention and rules. His behavior is more described as asocial from your description here in the previous question you asked in 2010, not antisocial, which are two different terminologies that his psychiatrist most likely mixed up inadvertently. The ADHD diagnosis may be correct and if he is no receiving treatment with that in the form of a psychostimulant medication then unfortunately his ADHD will be a major issue with him. ADHD is a disruption in neurochemical processes and needs to be treated with medication to manage the disorder. In addition, his medical issues can easily cause some of his psychological symptoms as they can lead to depression for example, which would cause him to be irritable at times, low motivation, irresponsibility, and an overall inability to function in everyday life. So if he is to get better he really does need to start taking his medication consistently. Both Washington University and St. Louis University have robust psychiatric clinics for both inpatient and outpatient. They can run the necessary tests on your son, as personality inventory will give his treatment team a direction regarding diagnosis and treatment. So I would recommend seeing if he can be seen at either of those university hospitals, I personally like Street. Louis University more and that is only because I am familiar with some of their faculty on staff who have good track records of helping patients. I think given the different diagnoses and no clear path for treatment, the university hospital system will provide thorough assessment and treatment for your son. Also thank you for accepting the addition service, you are more than welcome to email me privately at the address below for more concerns that you would like to discuss pertaining to this difficult situation. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.